adding to the most uh, explosive anger to India's twist with the IS top intelligence agency sources have confirmed to mail today that IS is on a hiring spree in India. Intelligence uh, sources uh, claim that Indian nationals who have been recruited by the dreaded terror outfit are actively headhunting for the terror organization from within India and abroad. At least three Indian youth, including one from Gujarat and Hyderabad, are carrying out recruitments for the dreaded terror outfit. Further adding to security agencies' worries, Indian Mujahideen members too have uh, turned their headhunters, turned into headhunters for the ISIS. And Mail today managed to speak to four terror recruits, boys between the age of 20 and 25, who were hired by the Islamic State and had set uh, sail for Syria last year. They were then intercepted by the police. Mail today's Abhishek Bhalla with more details. The most brutal face of terror, the Islamic State spreading its tentacles slowly from Iraq and Syria into the hearts and minds of the young and the impressionable the world over. This is the voice of a 26-year-old. Mail today spoke to a terror recruit. The publication has changed his name to protect his identity. Listen to Saifuddin's chilling confessions on what lured him into joining ISIS. Basically, वो लोग ना लाल लालच देते थे लालची बनाते कि हर चीज अच्छा होगा यहाँ पर ये है वो है। They used to give us money, financially used to help us from Dubai or like UK. They used to give them like they didn't hesitate to give financial support. They were always ready to give provide financial support. Saifuddin's confessions on camera lay open the deadly, almost disturbing modus operandi of the terrorist organization. Most men like Saifuddin used to interact with ISIS handlers on social media platforms, where they were shown images and videos of people suffering and torture in Syria and Iraq. Saifuddin says most Indians wanted to serve conflicted Syria and not to be part of ISIS. Handlers would then force recruits to join as volunteers and travel to Turkey as on normal visas and then cross over to Syria. But the Indian agencies were keeping a close watch. And that is why there was a plan B as well to make Indians cross over illegally to Bangladesh and then facilitate their travel further to Turkey and Syria. Saifuddin is among the three people intercepted by Telangana police in September last year. For now at least, they have been let off after questioning. Agency is hoping that this step will go on a long way in de-radicalizing the youth tempted to join the Islamic State. With mail today inputs, Bureau Report, India Today.